Well, there was some fun at the Somerset Snow Fest today as Skajoring took center stage. New Center Man's Raya Wooten tells us just how difficult this year's competition was for both racers and their horses. Today, Pro Division Ski Jord competitors raced on this 1,000 foot track behind me in the hopes of winning first place and being named the best horseback rider skier team. What looks like lots of fun actually takes weeks of preparation. It's fast paced, you're kind of hanging on by the seat of your pants. Matt Alexander and his teammate Lindsey Fairley finished today's race in first place with a winning time of 23.63 seconds. Alexander has been skiing for more than 30 years, but he says ski joring is a different beast. It's definitely out of control and just kind of making adjustments as you go and try to look ahead. The turns were really tight and uh, the jumps were big. Competitor Andrew Legier says he missed the first ring because he was scared to let go of the reins with both hands. He ended the race with battle wounds after a chunk of ice hit him in the lip. <laughs> the ice chunk came off the horse hoof pretty fast. <laughs> Ski joring successfully requires a skilled skier, but Alexander says the horses and their instructors deserve the most credit. I show up, I click in, and uh, I ski. These, these people are working with these horses all year round. Friend of the winning team, Jordan Day, who also rides horses, says horses like winter links here, sometimes trains two to six weeks before races. It's similar to humans. I'm not going to go out and run a marathon and sprint if I haven't even gone above a walk in weeks. While skiers struggle to hold on to the reins, the biggest challenge for horses is staying warm. When they're exercising and get sweaty, they get wet and their coats can't hold the heat as well. No matter the hurdle, Alexander says he and his team are ready for the Ski Jor Bangor competition next weekend in Skowhegan. Ryan Wooten, New Center, Maine.